living in a world that is complicated The right seems wrong and the wrong seems right It's complicated Different philosophies and ideologies of identities This is where we are, it is the world that we live in Decisions Where to go and who to follow and who to trust Oh, but everybody knows, everyone knows that the clock is ticking So choose this day who you will be serving both of them and talk some sense into them <laughs> the way they are going is really bad and it's very very dangerous <laughs> dangerous <sighs> we'll try we'll try You have the audacity to bring your friend into this house. Who do you think you are anyway? Hmm? I'm very sorry, ma'am. <laughs> Dad, I'm sorry. I just pity you. I pity you. Better wait for your time. Because you are still young for all this nonsense you are doing. Hmm? Kunle, you are too quiet for my liking. Talk sense into these children. Mm, well, that's okay. That's okay, dear. That's all right. That's all right. Now, um, you see, look here, Bayo. It's not as if I'm against you having fun and enjoying yourself. But you see, I don't like the way those girls were frolicking around you. I mean, you are not supposed to be. That is not the issue. Stop being apologetic. So you are giving him express permission to have fun, right? Huh? That is not what I'm saying. And will you keep quiet and let me do the talking? And will you stop being apologetic and talk sense into these children? Huh? How will I talk sense into them when you, the mother who gave birth to them, is not setting good example for them to follow? Excuse us. <laughs> Feeling ashamed to, to wash your dirty linen before your children, eh? I've never seen a shameless man like you, Kule. Really? Yeah. Really? Mm -hmm. You will learn to live with one. Ah! Your son was drunk in this house. And he was talking rudely to me in the process. Your daughter was rolling a book among these senseless and useless boys. And all you could do 
was to lock yourself in door, shake it like a chicken in the rain, coolly. Ha! Yabo, it is all your fault. Hmm? I ordered you not to go to that party. You disobeyed me and went. You came back, found your children having a party. Can't you see they have traces of your stubbornness and arrogance running in their genes and their blood? I won't stay here to listen to this trash and nonsense you are saying. Mm -hmm. Come back here and listen to me! Ah! Stop on, woman! Ah! Jimmy, babe, what's up? We didn't see you. Hope there's no problem. Jimmy, I need your help. Oh. Yeah, I think Dele is still close to me. He didn't come for the party and he has refused to pick in my calls. I think he's getting too possessive. He saw another guy's love text message on my phone and he didn't even give me a chance to explain at all. What's his problem? Please help me talk to him. When I was like you, I was not even thinking of working with boys. <laughs> you are in part one on the university for God's sake. Rose, you are still supposed to face your studies. Working with boys has nothing to do with my studies. I still face my studies. Uh -uh. What's wrong with you? I'm talking and you're working out for me. Is something wrong with your head? Who is Dele? Who sent you love text messages? Mom, wasn't I enjoy some privacy in this house? You're dropping on my conversation. You've not answered my question. Who is Dele? Dele is one of my friends on campus. When has it become a crime to have a male friend on campus? <laughs> I told you, don't work out on me. Mom, you can't just slap me for having male friends in the school. You are still young to have boyfriends. You two have men friends, mom. What? <laughs> sorry, mom. What did I hear you say? You said that to me? I'm sorry, mommy. Mommy, I'm sorry. Mommy, I'm sorry. Your friend is outside with his wife. Ah, only your. Our lady evangelist. <laughs> uh, thank you, thank you. Actually, there's nothing much. We just said to pay you people a special visit. Wow. And then besides, she has a very important invitation for both of you. Uh, <laughs> of course, I can trust mommy to okay. She always goes around inviting people for special programs. <laughs> <laughs> you see, you've done a lot of work. You've changed my friend. You've influenced him. Changed? How do you mean? <laughs> Uncle, you have changed. Oh? Uh -huh. Yes, because we don't always ask for your favorite beer anytime you're in our house. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know. I didn't notice that, you know. Wow. I didn't. Mm -hmm. Did you hear that, my dear? God is actually answering your prayers. <laughs> anyway, we thank God for everything. Mm -hmm. My prayer is that we all change for the better in Jesus' Amen. name. Amen. 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 Still, we need Jesus to help us. Mm -hmm. 
He alone can transform a man and give him a brand new life. Hmm. Exactly. You see, because the man I have in my house hmm, need a complete brand new life. If God could just work on him, this house will witness a new beginning. See who is talking. See who is talking. Hola, you are very lucky that you don't have a stubborn and nagging wife like this. Come on. Come on, be a man. You can talk to your wife like that. Oh, this one. He doesn't know how to treat a woman with respect and honor. <laughs> I do. I really do. I know where my respect is appreciated. And I know where to place it. Do you hear him? I've been saying it in this house. He's having an affair, but no one seems oh, to believe me. Oh, Mommy, oh. by you. I stop this. This is not the right way to address your husband. Oh, He's your head. Huh? I reject bad head. Uh -uh. This one. Yes. <laughs> I doubt it. Uh -uh. You see? You see her? Look at her. No respect for her head. No wonder she has no direction. Eh? Uh -huh. No direction. Eh? Because she doesn't have any ears to listen. Uh -huh. And she has no eyes to see. You have to stop this, Kunle. You have to stop this. Come on, why are both of you raising so much dust in this house? It is not right. It is not. Ah, anyway, stop this. We are actually here to invite you for a family program. Yeah. A church program. Mm -hmm. This week is our family week. Okay. And our church has organized a series of programs to last the whole weekend, starting from Friday. A man of God has been invited from the north. Yeah. He has a fantastic anointed ministry for homes. Mm. Yeah. So that's why we are here. To invite your family. This Friday, you say? Yes. It's an all weekend program. Anyway, my Friday is feast already. We will have come. If it is... We will attend. Oh, please try and do. We will attend. We yes, will attend. he needs to attend. Because he needs all the transformation he can get from men of God. Mommy, buy your... You need Jesus in this house. And you need peace in your heart. I have an appointment on Friday. What appointment? What appointment? Tell them what appointment. She's not going anywhere. She has no appointment. Well, the only appointment she might have is <laughs> maybe a social gathering. Party. Party. <laughs> anyway, I won't sit down here and listen to your insults. Oh. Please excuse me. Oh. Back. Where are you going to? Kule, Kule, aren't you fed up with this kind of rancor in your family? I told you, be a man. Uh, my dear, when did you say the program is? The whole weekend. When daddy comes, his food. Well, I prepare the food. I cook the rice, fry the plantain. So you serve it, okay? Oh, I think it's here. You serve it. You know where the food is. Oh, you are welcome, dear. Oh, yes. Thank you. How are you? How was it? I'm fine. Good. So, I hope you are not going out. I'm going out, but I've prepared your food. The roast will serve you. Come, 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 come. Let's see, let's see.
I want you to serve me. I don't want to miss Auntie Mary's appointment. She wanted me to follow her to greet her cousin. What is it with Auntie Moyeni's cousin? The guy just arrived from uh, Canada. So, how was the service? Well, that was my greatest regret. I knew you'd be disappointed at the program. Was it one of these uh, cash and carry church programs? Hmm? Always demanding for donations, tithes and offering, mission support, and so on and so forth. No. No, it was not any of those. In fact, I regretted that you didn't follow me. So that we could be enslaved together? I've passed that religious manipulation. I'm a free person now. Oh! I don't think it's right for you to leave your husband very hungry without giving him something to eat. I've done all I need to do. I've cooked your food. We serve it in the woman. Your daughter will serve you, or is she a stranger? No, I want you to serve me. I want you to stay with me this evening. You are not going out. That's an order. <laughs> On whose authority, if I may ask? On your husband's authority. Oh. Likewise, ye wives, be in subjection to your own husbands. That is 1 Peter 3, verse 1. So, is that what you were taught in the program this evening? And you wanted me to follow you, so that I could be related before everyone? Uh, uh, no, 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 no. Actually, uh, Yabo, I'm sorry for quoting that uh, Bible verse. Uh, that was not all they taught us. They taught us so many other things. Okay, so, my idea, what were you taught this evening? Well, <clears throat> they taught us to honor and respect our wives, uh -huh. to treat them like queens. That is better. So, don't forget the Lord's instruction to you this evening. Don't disobey your God. I deserve some honor and respect. See you later. your wife for inviting us to your church seminar on the ideal home. You know, I saw all my faults and I was greatly blessed by that message. You know what? I was greatly humbled. But you want some butter? Okay. But Mama Tokwe did not come. That was what pained me the most. Mm. How I wish she was there with me. It would have solved a lot of problems. You see, I tried downloading the messages I had to her, mm. but she could not understand. She misunderstood every move I made. Even what the minister suggested I do, I tried to do. <laughs> but guess what? She was just making jest of me. <laughs> Don't worry, okay? You know, I'm so happy that you came. I'm happy you attended the meeting and that you were blessed. Leave the rest to God. Don't worry. Leave the rest to God, He will perfect everything. I believe so. Mm. I believe so. Mm. I'm really challenged by your new life. Me? Yes. That was why yesterday I was thinking about the message that I had. And I thought about my entire life. Mm. That's why I decided to give it to him. Give what? To who? Jesus. I gave my life to Jesus. What? You did? Oh, great! Congratulations! <laughs> you did that? Yes. Congratulations. I'm so happy for you. Oh, 
all. I want the joy and peace that you have. Oh, that's a very good thing you did. You see, it's the wisest decision you will ever make. That joy and peace you talked about will now become yours. They will begin to flood your heart. Welcome into Christ. <laughs> I'm so glad. I must tell you, mm. it was your life that drew me to Christ. Oh, yes. Oh, to God be the glory. Yeah. That's interesting, you know. Honestly, I had always desired to tell you my experience. But I felt the restraint from God telling me that the time was not ripe yet. Mm. The Lord told me that you will begin to see the fruit. And you know the Bible says, by their fruits, we shall know them. Hmm. Really? Yeah. That was wisdom. <laughs> Don't worry. Now that you have taken the decision as the head of the home, you should leave the rest to God. Mm. She also will come to the light of Christ. And that very soon, but you just have to be patient, very patient with her. Okay? She's very stubborn and arrogant. <laughs> and she's full of pride, that is it. <laughs> My friend, she said the Lord will wash away that when she comes into Christ. But you must do everything within your power to encourage her. You must be very patient with her. Okay? You must be very, very patient till she makes that decision. You must never, ever discourage her. Then the joy and peace of the Lord will flush your home. Okay? I'll try. I will try. <laughs> Once again, congratulations. Thank you. Now, let me try. last night after our family devotion that we will all go to church this morning as a family you said that to your children not to me i wasn't at your family devotion yesterday night besides i didn't even promise i will follow you to church did i Biabo, huh? why are you behaving like this what is your problem really hmm? Is it by force? Ah, Was you force me to do what I'm not ready to do? Even in Nigeria today, everybody is free to practice any religion he likes. So what is your stress, Kunle? Yeah, boy. Listen, this is where I choose to hold my own service this morning. For some, they may decide to hold their own in the clubhouse. You don't even thank God I'm not in that group. At least I'm still in my house. Bye. where were you last night? You did not join us at the family devotion. You came back at a quarter past eleven yesterday. Where were you? Um, d Dad, I, I was in a friend's house. By that time? Doing what? Uh -uh. Why all these questions? He said he was in his friend's house. Is he a kid? Do you even know when they sleep in their hostel? Twelve midnight. At times two o'clock in the morning. So what's the stress? What's your problem? Hey, Yabo, will you shut up and let me talk to my son? It's my son too. Stop shouting at me. Look here, young man. I will not tolerate that sort of nonsense again in this house. If you want to remain in my house, you must do whatever I tell you to do. Is that understood? Uh, Dad, I'm sorry. I called to inform mommy. That's all right. Now, both of you, go and get dressed. 
you are following me to church this morning. Get ready in the next 10 minutes. I'll be waiting for you. But dad, I've not had my bath. Did you not hear when I told you yesterday that you were following me to church this morning? No excuse. So go and get ready. Fast! I'm waiting for you. But why do you have to force these children to do things against their wish? Because it is my duty as their father to tell them to do the right things. My Bible tells me, train up a child in the way they should go. So you think there are small children you can force to do things against their wish? My friend, it's too late. It's not too late, Yabo. If God could have mercy on me, it's not too late for them. And it will not be late for you also to join us. God forbid, I reject slavery. <laughs> Yabo, you don't understand something. Look, if these children are playing at home doing school hours, you would be the first person to drive them to go back to school. Because they must not play with their education. Why? Because that is their life, their future and destiny. Oh, education is the best inheritance you can leave for a child. Good. Now, Look at it this way. We spend so much money, time and resources in making sure that our children go to the best schools because we want to build a future for them. But we don't spend time and money and resources on their moral education. I see nothing wrong with their moral lives. Is that so? Look at Bayo. He's gradually turning to be a drunkard. He drinks. He smokes. See how ladies swarm around him. Where is the future we are building when there is no moral life to support it? What will become of their soul at the end when they appear before God? My dear, we are just like that man who builds his house on a heap of sand because it will eventually crumble. Dad, we are set. Where is Rose? Um, she said so. She's putting on her shoes. <laughs> oh my God! <laughs> See, he's going to church. See the dress you are wearing to church. They will drive you out of the church. You don't even cover your hair. Daddy, am I okay? You are perfect, my dear. Hmm? Look, if the people in church don't understand jesus understands and he will be happy to welcome you just the way you are thank you sir. now let us go my dear you can still join us we we'll wait come on me now come on let's follow daddy come let's go you be alone in the house will you please get out of this place come on get out i know what my wife is planning she wants to stay at home to cook a beautiful meal for us. A delicious meal. My dear, that wonderful jollof rice, that one with coconut, prepare it for us. Yes, I'm fried planting. Come on, leave. Go, go. Please, excuse me. Get out and give me peace. Make sure you lock the gates and go with the key. Because I won't come out and open the gates. Living in a world that is complicated. The right seems wrong and the wrong seems right. It